Langston's breaking up with Marco. There's no way. Yeah. No, you, you, you must have gotten it wrong. I wish. Cole, it's happening right now. So, pick a film and I'll get the lights. No, Marco, I, I need to talk to you. Why? What's up? Lately, I've... I've been laying awake at night thinking about... Lang, hey. Whoa, you're freezing. Am I? Yeah, and you, you look a little pale, even for you. Hey, well, sit down, I'll get you a blanket. No, don't. And, uh, and then some hot tea. No, Marco, stop being so nice to me. Glad you came back for more. You ordered a large? Yeah, I did. Because your last delivery was delicious. Just the way I like it. Hey, beautiful. What's up? There was this huge cheer at the station when we heard both pulled through. All these tough cops crying. They were so happy. Bo's family must be so relieved. You owed me that date for a while. Now? You want me to go out with you now? Well, not this minute. Tonight. Uh, it didn't count. I mean, it was a game. We were playing around, right? Yeah, we played. I won. What time should I pick you up? <sighs> can't believe I'm playing Marco. Yeah, right? You should have been Cole. I guess we'll be seeing partners then. No offense, but this still sucks. I just asked you to marry me. Yeah, I think it's the drugs talking. No, it's just me. It's a guy who loves you. You've only been awake for about an hour. I'm through wasting time. Do you love me? Oh, my God. You know I do. To marry me. Say yes, Red. I understand the parties are all present. Yes, they are, Your Honor. Ready to proceed, Your Honor. Good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here to establish custody of the minor child, Sierra Rose Marasco. We'll begin with the plaintiff. Your Honor. Ms. Delgado? Um, my client, Skylar Joplin, has instructed me to withdraw his objection to the suit. Why the turnaround? Uh, it's come to light that Skylar Joplin is not the baby's biological father. Do we know who is? I am, Your Honor. Sierra's my daughter. This is the little girl in question. Yes. I just found out that Sierra is my daughter. And what makes you think you're the father? Uh, I have a DNA test, Your Honor. Bill. Where's your lawyer? I didn't have time to get one. I just found out, like I said, and we needed a crib and diapers and everything. And then Sierra needed a lot of rest. She's had a pretty intense few days. I don't know if you've read the papers. And I didn't want to leave her side even for a second, you know? So, uh, no, I don't, I don't have one. But I can get one if I need to. And I stopped by today. I filed to have the birth certificate officially changed, listing me as the father. So the child has been living with you? Yes, ma'am. Were you aware of this? Uh, we were made aware yesterday that the uh, baby was staying with Officer Fish temporarily. However, that does not change our position regarding custody at all. Are you looking for full custody of this baby? 
She's my child. But are you prepared for this? Fatherhood? Yes, Your Honor, I'm ready. Okay. Okay. I mean, is that okay? Is that a yes? No, that's an aha. Uh -huh. I get it. You got shot. Yeah, I almost died. Oh, don't say that. Don't say that. No, it's true. I know. I mean, you, sh you should be nice to me. <laughs> you should grant me my every wish. <laughs> you don't have to do this, you know. What? Propose. You're gonna be fine, didn't you hear, Greg? You're gonna you're gonna live for a long time. I hope so. Well, you will, and you're not running out of time. We are all running out of time. I just got the big reminder of that. We're not gonna live forever, Rick. Well, this is romantic. Well, what do you want, flowers or candy? No, or... no, no. Do you know what I kept thinking about after I got shot? Uh, to breathe and not to bleed. Uh, yeah, yeah, there's all that, but all I could think of, you know, what I could think was, if I die now, I'm gonna be really pissed. Well, just for the record, I would have been pissed too. <laughs> I don't know, but I would have been mad at myself for not marrying you when I had the chance. That would have been my biggest regret. This is just, you know, it's really bad taste. My Uncle Bo nearly died. This is hardly the time that you and I should be talking about dating. Your Uncle Bo's gonna make it. And I guarantee you, if you asked him, he'd tell you to go. I know, I know. Everybody loves you. Whoopie doo. You wanna find out why? Oh, no. I was supposed to be at school like an hour ago oh. to paint the set, so I have to go. Yeah. Bye. You're gonna have to do a lot better than that. <laughs> this is beyond wrong. Look, if you have a problem with casting, you should take it to Mr. G. I know where to take it. After I get a mochaccino to calm me down. Looks like Destiny's not too happy to work with me. Oh, I doubt it. She just didn't want to play Langston. Stop being so nice to you, is that what you just said? No, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to sound so... Crazy? Harsh. Sit down. Let me make you feel no, better. No, Marco, no. I need to talk about this. It's been eating at me for days, weeks. Keeping you awake, yeah. You said, and I noticed. No, it's... it's tough, Marco. It's really hard to stop. Then let me help you. You can't. This is my problem. It's all on me. What? Lately, I've been thinking about my future and how things are going to be. Oh, I know where this goes. You do? You think I didn't lay awake and worry too? It'll be easier than you think. What? College. You think it's the future, that it's this totally different world, and, and it is. But it's manageable, and you are so smart. You're gonna do great. I'm not worried about college, Marco. Then what? Like I said, I've been thinking a lot about... Oh! oh. <laughs> I thought you'd be at school. Am I interrupting anything? Marco was just here telling me what a great time he and Langston had last night. I know, she said. No, they, they, they work things out. They're good. And Marco told her how much he loves her and how he wouldn't be able to live without her. I heard. So, 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 so she's breaking up with him. But that, that makes no sense. Why? ABC's One Life to Live, brought to you by Frontline Plus. Frontline Plus is the vet's number one choice in long-lasting flea and tick protection. Hey, Dr. Lord, uh, we were just in the middle of something. Don't worry, I'll be gone in a jiffy. I just wanted to drop these off for you. Un, deux, trois, quatre. What are those? Tickets to the show tonight at Ultraviolet. No way. That's been sold out for weeks. I know, just one of the many perks of being mayor. The two of you have been working so hard, I thought you could use a break. You really shouldn't have. And the extra pair? How about for Star and Cole? I'll even volunteer to babysit. They'll love that. And what about you, dear? 
It's a, a really nice gesture. Sorry. Marco, I think I need to talk to my daughter alone. Do you mind? What's going on with Langston? It's not just Marco. There's more to it. Well, I'd hope so, but what? Dream killer. What? You wanted to give your sister a break. I respect that, but not with my part. Uh, no clue. You convinced Mr. G to cast Danielle as you in the musical, instead of me. Will you be okay working with Destiny? Yeah, she'll get over this. I'm sorry not playing Cole. Well, who is? Sounds good, babe. Okay, I'll see you soon. Love you. Hey, I heard Bo's gonna make it. I know, we were so worried. We thought we were gonna lose him. Yeah, I'm glad it's good news. Brody. What are you doing here? You didn't think I'd let you off the hook that easily, did you? What's up? Oh, Jessica owes me a date, and she's trying to weasel out of it. I'm not weaseling. I'm working. We have to get this entire set painted by tonight. You know what, Jess? We have to let the base coat dry first before we can move on. Really? Yeah, yeah, and I was about to take off for the night anyway. You're free. You guys have a good time. Uh, See you later, Chris. Uh, are you married, Mr. Fish? Uh, I'm gay, Your Honor. But... I have a partner, and we are fully committed to one another, and he's with me 100% on this. Are you his partner? Yes, Your Honor. Kyle Lewis. And you fully support your partner's desire to raise his child? Absolutely. We're both really excited about it. This baby got off to a rough start. She was born in a cabin? Oh, yes, Your Honor. My client delivered her sister's baby, and uh, she saved her baby's life. She had a heart condition that required surgery. She's got some hefty medical bills. Oh, I have medical insurance. I'm a police officer, and I have a, a pretty good plan, and we'll have a doctor right at home. I, I graduate from medical school soon. So you're in med school full-time, and you're a police officer full-time. Your Honor, I know it'll be a challenge, but we can do it. I swear to you, this baby will have everything that she needs, especially, especially love. I love you, Bill Buchanan. We're together. We're committed. Nothing's gonna change that. I know. Do you? Yeah. Okay. Then why? So our son can say that his parents are married. <laughs> cares about that i do i'm old-fashioned you know i want a wedding i want a cake and flowers i want dancing you know it's been a while since we've done any dancing maybe we could get a little richard again we could have a good old-fashioned rock and roll wedding you're really serious about this yeah and you know what? We could get married on our anniversary. How perfect would that be? June 1st. Oh, come on, Red. Come on, you gotta do it. Come on. Say yes. I can't. You can't? Marry me. I... Come on, we talked about this, pal. Not that I remember. Okay, you might have been asleep. How about we didn't want to hurt anyone, no more collateral damage? Like... Clint? Clint is remarried, for Pete's sake. To an ex-pole dancer, Kim, that's not, that's a rebound. That's not moving on, that's not healing. So that's why you have to wait, so that Clint will heal. He was here all night. On the other side of that door, he sat there. He was here all night. I know. And that's a great start. And then he came in here and he said the most beautiful things to you, Bo. He still loves you. Yeah. 
so... So he doesn't feel that way about me. I mean, we're barely speaking right now. And if you and I got married, I'd be afraid that he would back no, off again. Not about no, he, he, I don't. I don't want to be. You to lose all the ground that you've gained. Uh, uh, th what do you? Excuse me. That's a load of bull. I'm trying to be sensitive here. I'm trying to. You're I'm trying try to be safe here. You're scared that if we get married again, that it won't work out. I don't know, Adriana. I apologized. I taped that love note back together and gave it to Chris. And then I asked him where he was. It turns out he was with Jessica. Yeah, that's right. He gave her a ride home and helped her with her homework. Maybe I'm overreacting. I, I'm just so scared that I might make another mistake. And I, I, I don't know. How about I pick you up in an hour? Uh, we were gonna try to call my mother in London tonight, and it could be a while. I'll wait. But it's a school night, so... I'll have you home by midnight. Can't you take a hint? I don't want to go out with you, okay? Not okay. I want a date. Fair and square. Yeah, hardly fair. What? You are the one who tried to hustle me. But forget it. Really? Yeah, if you're gonna be such a pain, I'll give you a chance to get out of it. Nate Salinger is playing Cole. Do you know him? That's me. Oh my You didn't God. think a sister could play you. Wait a minute. Or you just wanted your own sister. I had nothing to do with the casting right. of musical. Right, it's only your story. I did not cast Danny. I had nothing to do with it. Really? You swear? It, it's Star. She doesn't lie, OK? No, she doesn't. Did you get cast? As Langston. I really wanted the lead ever since I wanted someone else. What about Matthew? Did he get cast? He's Marco. Okay, so see, you guys get to work with each other. Over it. Really? Sort of. I mean, I don't think the show will bring us together like it did for the real Marco and this. Well, I'm sorry. No, I am. Shouldn't have busted on you. Forget about it. Later. Hi, Destiny. It's nice chatting with you. Remind me never to get on her bad side. Thanks for sticking up for me. Oh, well, I mean... All right, you, you don't lie, you know? I mean, you may be wrong about some things. There's no way that the is breaking up with Marco. I wish I was. We have to get ready for it. But why? She had a thing with Ford. They did the defined thing. Do I have to? With her sleeping together? <sighs> Since when? A while now. Darling, this really isn't a good time. Marco and I were yes, just... Yes, 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 you were. <clears throat> Something was going on. In fact, the two of you have had a difficult time of it this winter, haven't you? I should really talk about that with Marco. Yes, but before you do, just understand this. It's only a rough patch. These things happen. This too shall pass. Okay, well, thank you for your advice. Here's your hat. What's your hurry? Dorian, this really isn't helping, okay? I know I can't solve it for you, but I, I just... I beg of you, darling, think, think about what is going on. I've been thinking about it, okay? Look, I, I promise I will call you later, all right? All right. It's fine. I'm going. Darling, I wonder if you have any idea. How wonderful, really wonderful Marco is. The question is, Ms. Marasco, do you now wish to sue Oliver Fish for custody? Your Honor, my client is the baby's aunt, and as I noted before, she delivered the child and has never left her side until a court order mistakenly gave custody to Skylar Joplin. 
Meanwhile, as you noted, these two gentlemen, one a full-time police officer, the other a full-time medical student, had no expectations of and made no plans for ever having a baby. And now they want custody of a child who's already suffered a life-threatening illness. This is hardly ideal. I mean, these two well-meaning men are simply not ready to be parents. Gigi Marasco is already a mother. She's raised her son well. She's a wonderful Stop. support system. I don't want you to do this. Wait, Gigi, hold on. Ms. Marasco? What Mr. Clark is saying, it's true, but it's not. I mean, yeah, I'm a mom, and I've tried to be good at it, but I, I didn't plan it, and I had to work full-time, too. I still do. Who doesn't? Um, last year, our son Shane had leukemia, and we almost lost him. No parent is, is ever ready for that. You just hold on for dear life, be there every minute, and pray your kid makes it. I mean, it's a crapshoot being a parent. You don't know any day what's going to happen. You just love them to pieces and do whatever it takes. Because to your child, you're it. Your Honor, I love my niece, and I'd do anything to take care of her. That's what I promised my sister. But she's Oliver's kid, and it's obvious he loves her too. He's here today without a lawyer because he wouldn't leave her alone after a crisis. He'll be a great dad. My sister didn't make too many appropriate choices in her life, but she really lucked out with Oliver. So did my niece. Sierra belongs with you. Looks like we're done here. As there is no challenge filed against his claim, this court recognizes Oliver Fish as the sole surviving parent and grants him full custody of the minor child, Sierra Rose. Court adjourned. All rise. Langston is cheating on Marco with Ford. That's nasty. Yeah. No, how could you do that to Marco? I don't know. I tried talking to her about it more than once. How long have you known? A while. Why didn't you talk? I wanted to. I promised like son I wouldn't say a word. I bet you never thought you'd hear me say something like that about Marco. <laughs> Especially after the way we started, but... Honey, he worships you. He would do just about anything in the world to make you happy. I know. I know. And you know how special that is, don't you? Yeah. Good. Because that's what you deserve, sweetheart. Someone who treats you like the treasure that you are. Thank you for the tickets. Oh, you're so welcome. Hey, you enjoy. Thanks. Dolly's gone. Yeah, yeah, she just left. So, so what's your deal? What does she want? She just wanted to tell me. How great you are. So, you got cast in the school musical. <laughs> Who am I? Oh, you're playing Cole. Cool. Uh, who's playing Star? I am. All right. You know, if you really were such a great guy, you'd let me out of this date. Oh, we're playing by your rules here, Jess. <clears throat> Here's the deal. Rematch. Horse? Double or nothing. You win, you don't go out with me. I win. I get two dates. Hey. <clears throat> I heard. You weren't supposed to. But that's how you feel. Yeah. But I understand, too. Jessica's got a schoolgirl crush. And as freaky as that is to think about, it's all coming from her. It is. I'm with you, Layla. 
No doubts. Good. You know, maybe, maybe Brody will score some points with her tonight. He's taking her out. Really? Yeah. Maybe he'll help her remember who she is now and she'll forget about me. Why are you scared to get married? I don't have the best track record. Who does? Um, oh, Bo, Bo, Bo. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not exactly the best wife material. Why don't you let me be the judge of that? I was a jerk. That's it, isn't it? I don't want to disappoint you again. Because you're afraid that if you do, that I won't forgive you. And that that's how it all happened. Oh, no, you, for, you forgave me for Sam. Yeah, after way, way too many years, I let you okay. carry all Let, that. Let's not do this, around. okay? Let's not do this. You're scared that I'll do it again. You haven't forgiven me. Oh, no, I forgave you. Well, then what? Nora, I know. If, if, if we try it again, we're going to get it right this time. Well, we, we might not do that, but we could still hurt each other. No, we won't. How do you know? Can I hold her say goodbye? No. <laughs> There is no way you are saying goodbye, please. You're the closest thing she has to a mother, Gigi. I don't know. You two are already so good at the mom stuff. She looks more rested. Well, we loaded her up on formula before bed. She slept till like six. The whole night? Mm. You're a natural. <laughs> Besides, I want her to know her aunt and her cousin Shane and Uncle Rex. You sure? Yes. I'm 100% positive it's what Stacy wanted, right? At the end. Well, that's all that matters. Yeah. In the end, she left us this beautiful girl. Last spring, when you helped Stacy with the stem cells. Yeah, look, it wasn't my finest moment, Rex, okay? I, I just wanted to make sure Shane got what he needed, and that was the only way I could even... No, hey, look, I, no, I don't want to fight it all over, okay? I just have some questions. Okay. Yeah, go ahead, shoot. Now, you went to the clinic, and you took the stem cells from Mitch Lawrence, right? Yeah. Okay. What did you do with them next? I gave them to Rox and Stacy when Stacy was supposedly donating her stem cells. Okay. And you kept them until then? Yeah, absolutely. If you, if you don't store them correctly, they won't work. So you gave Roxy the stem cells at the hospital? Yeah, I, I, I don't know how they made the switch, but they did. Stacy made sure, made sure that it looked like she was the donor. But you're positive the person you took the stem cells from was Mitch. You drew the blood yourself? Yes. Okay. And you knew it was Mitch? Okay, the name meant nothing to me at the time, but I'm absolutely positive it was Mitch. Well, she wasn't hungry, but it is definitely nap time. Gigi, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Come on. Bye. Come on. You did good, Maresco. I hope so. We'll be good parents. I can't believe I'm saying that about Kyle Lewis. He's come a long way this year. Yeah, we were just talking about that. What? Well, he swears the person he took the stem cells from was Mitch Lawrence. You still don't have an answer. How could Mitch be a perfect match for Shane if we're not even related? What are you new here? Yeah, yeah, just transfer. Oh, me too. I haven't seen you in any classes. You wouldn't. I'm a junior. Yeah, I thought you were older. I get two dates. Uh, Want to go double or nothing again? So what do you say we go out tonight? Are you asking me out? Yeah. I'm done with school for the night. John's out of town. I don't have to be in early. So let's do it then. Unless you were planning on staying home with pizza and a movie. Oh, that's not mine. That was uh, here when I got out of the shower. Hey, guys. I was just getting changed for the pizza. Come on, walk you out. Thanks. Bye. 
Pizza's getting cold. That's the only thing that is. Maybe he wasn't hungry. Dory just wanted to remind me how incredible you are and how lucky I am to have you. Oh, wow. I don't know how it happened, but I am so glad I'm on that woman's good side. Langston, there's something you've been trying to tell me all day. It doesn't matter. Really? Really. I'm serious. I've just been super stressed and, you know what, forget it. All right, well, maybe Dorian's right. We could really use a night out. Sounds good. All right, well, um, I got to check on some things at school, but I'll be back in time to take you out for dinner, too. You don't have to do that. Oh, come on, we can splurge for one night. See you later. Diaz. Now when I showed up and pulled you in the kitchen? Yeah. <laughs> I knew you weren't fine about the show. Look, I promised that I wouldn't say anything until Langston found a way to tell Marco. I thought that she would dump that jerk Ford instead. She's breaking up with Marco. That sucks. I should get back. Langston's gonna need me. That the hell with Langston? What about Marco? He's gonna need you. Can, can you just tell him where I am? You know, I, I have to finish the class with you. I'm sorry I didn't tell you sooner. I get it. Are we okay? Yeah, don't worry. I love you. gonna get it right this time, Red. I can feel it. But you don't know. No, I don't. In fact, I didn't know when I walked out the door this morning that I was gonna end up in here with a bullet in me. And, no, I can't promise you 100% that you and I will never hurt each other. No. Then what? We just never take a chance again? I mean... How is that alive? I just thought things were fine. Yeah, they were. And you know what? They are. Come on. Where did you think we were headed? I don't know. I just... I just thought we would take things one day at a time. We will. That is an excellent idea. And you know what? One of those days will be our wedding day. What do you think? I'm not scared? You? What the hell are you scared about? I'm scared of wasting more time. I love you, Red. So come on, I know that we can make it. Let's just hold hands and jump. go how's marco i couldn't do it you what i didn't break up with marco hey marco i'm so sorry man you sorry about what so are you going to the show at ultraviolet tonight i was thinking about it why well maybe you'll see me again so, what do you have in mind for tonight? How about that show at Ultraviolet? You have tickets? The last pair left. Sound good? Definitely. Let's take it one day at a time. Works for me. So what are we going to do tonight? I have tickets for the show at Ultraviolet. Really? I thought that 
that was sold out. So you heard. Should be a good show. We'll see. I gotta go home and get ready. Hey, it'll be fun, Jess. I won't give up on you. So I guess I'll see you at rehearsal. Yeah. Later. Who was that fine thing? That's Cole. I'm in. I'm gonna take your hands and I'm gonna close my eyes and I'm gonna jump. You're saying yes. I'm saying yes. I wanna marry you. You can. And nothing would make me happier. How could Mitch's stem cells be a perfect match for Shane? I know. It's too random. Yeah. Maybe Allison lied about that part of the story. You're not still thinking. I kind of have to. Don't lie, maybe I'm not Roxy's son. Not the, the one that she lost that died, but maybe I'm still Mitch's son. Uh, you know what, I'll follow this. Um, I'll follow this. If you want, I can do it. You know what, I have to pass by there anyway. I'm going to try to see if I can get Skylar into a program of some kind. Yeah, sounded like the guy wanted to go there. I can't stand that he didn't want to fight. God, I hate that. Well, I know you do. I could have made a case for Gigi, too. Uh, yeah? Well, it looks like uh, the, the baby the baby was okay, so that's that's what matters. Yeah, you okay? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Oh.